Answering questions during a job interview is like walking a tightrope. You want to provide as much accurate information as possible without painting yourself in a negative light. This means that sometimes, without outright lying, it might be better to skirt the truth. This is especially true when the interviewer gets around to asking you, why do you want to leave your current position? There's the right way, the wrong way, and the terribly wrong way to respond to this question. And sometimes it is not clear which is which. Make sure you stick around until the end when we share some answers, which might seem fine, but actually will ruin your chances of getting that job you want. Let's start with the right way. Now, in my humble opinion, this is a question you don't want to spend a lot of time addressing. So prepare a short but sweet response. Hope the interviewer doesn't probe too deeply. Why? In many instances, the real reason you are looking for a new opportunity has to do with a bad boss, horrible corporate culture with limited growth opportunities, or a lousy raise. Since rule number one of interviewing is to never badmouth anyone, you can't say any of these things without it reflecting poorly on you. I realize that it's difficult, but keep in mind, your goal is to obtain a new job. You can vent about your current situation to your family and friends. They'll be understanding and listening. Do it to a prospective employer and they will be dubious and you'll find your chances of landing that new position greatly diminished. So don't wait until you're sitting in the hot seat. Prepare your response ahead of time. You might even practice it ahead of time a few times, especially if it will be difficult for you to not be completely truthful on this matter. Then when asked, you can rattle off your response without looking uncomfortable or worse, like you're lying. Let me start with the easiest situation. This is where a recruiter has contacted you with an opening. On that first call, it is perfectly acceptable to indicate that you weren't looking for a new position, but you're always open to hearing about new and exciting opportunities. But that's for the first call only. After that, especially when interviewing at the company, it's a good idea to be able to add something more concrete. You might expand your response to include something positive about the company and the position. For example, you might say that after the recruiter explained the position to you, you were excited to throw your hat in the ring because the chance to work on new automation solutions or revamp their P-card program or whatever they're looking for was something or something else that was mentioned in the job description. Assuming that's not the situation though, and for most of us it won't be, and you're looking for a new spot, let's look at some perfectly acceptable responses regardless of the situation. You could say something like, acceptable response number one, I'm ready to do more and my current employer has no opportunities on the horizon. My boss does an excellent job and her position would be the next logical move for me. However, it looks like she'll be in that job for some time to come, so that leaves me without opportunities. Or, acceptable response number two, I've been looking for an organization whose core values align with mine and in searching your company fit, researching your company, there's a fit. Now, if you go this route, be ready to respond to the next obvious question. And what would those values be? In other words, don't use this suggested response unless it is true and you can articulate those values. This response must be customized. It's not a one size fits all. Acceptable response number three. I feel like I've plateaued in my current position and there are no opportunities on the horizon at my current company. The job, descrip the job description provided for this job is a good fit for my skill set and I feel like we'd be a good fit. Again, be ready to explain how. This response has to be customized to their job description. If you haven't seen one or it doesn't contain enough details, enough specific details, then you can't use this response. Now, let's turn our attention to not acceptable responses. Not acceptable response number one, complaining about anything, no matter how true and how reasonable your complaints are. They make you look bad and they leave the interviewer wondering, is your current boss really the ogre you paint him out to be? Or are you just difficult to get along with? If you badmouth the, bad the company, it can leave them thinking, hmm, is this how she's going to be talking about us someday? So don't do it, even if you're 110% correct. 
Not acceptable response number two, saying you are bored or the work isn't challenging. Again, this might be completely true, but it will give them pause. They might think, hmm, maybe her current boss didn't think she was capable of taking on more. Or they may think, hmm, she probably gets bored easily. How long before the same thing happens here? They may also be wondering why you didn't try and find more interesting projects or make suggestions or recommendations yourself. Get where I'm going? It just opens too many possibilities for them and none of those possibilities reflect well or positively on you. Not acceptable response number three. I'm embarrassed to admit, but this one comes from me. I actually said it to a recruiter earlier in my career. When asked the quest, this question, why do you want to leave your current position? I said, it's time. It was the truth, and I thought the answer was brilliant. By the way, it was not. After he picked himself up off the ground, he said to me, it's fine you tell me that, but never say that to the company, any company I send you to. He explained that the company hearing that would think, and someday she'll decide it's time to leave us. Have you ever said anything on interviews that in hindsight would probably be better left unsaid? Feel free to share it with us in the comments. Now, before we get to the really terrible ways to respond to, the, to this question, which by the way, may seem reasonable at first glance. If you're getting any value from this talk, I'd love it if you hit the thumbs up button. It sends a message that you're getting value from this talk and I should make more like it. A personal thanks from me to everyone who has hit that like button. And now to the terrible ways to respond to this question. Terrible response number one. Let's say you want to move to a city quite a distance from where you are currently located. Maybe you're in Chicago and you want to go to Philadelphia. Maybe your partner's family lives there. Or maybe, like my son-in-law, he desperately wanted to be near his favorite baseball team, the Boston Red Sox. Whatever. Do not indicate that as your reason for applying for the job especially if you're hoping to get relocation expenses. This will be a huge red flag. No company wants you simply because you want to move to the area and they're going to be the accommodation for that. They want you to want them, not a meal ticket, to get where you want to go. Include some valid business reasons as discussed earlier. If it comes up, it's fine to say your in-laws live in the area, but leave it at that and don't you bring it up. Terrible response number two, you want or need more money. Never share that. They will think it's only a matter of time before you want or need more money again, and you'll be out looking, or worse. The moment somebody dangles a few extra bucks in front of you, you'll jump. In general, you wanna present yourself and the situation in such a way that you are pursuing this new opportunity solely on the merits of the job and the opportunity. The money should always come secondary, regardless of your true motivation. Terrible response number three, you feel undervalued. Don't say it. In all likelihood, you're going to be asked this question, so prepare ahead of time. Make sure your response coordinates with what I like to call this question's evil twin, another one that can get you in trouble. When they ask you, why should we hire you? We recently did a short video on this topic, which you should watch right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description. Good luck.